A federal high court in Abuja has heard how $752,000 was paid into a special account belonging to former Chief of Defense Staff, Chief Marshal Alex Bade. A prosecution witness, Fatima Daku, told the court that the money she credited into Bade's Visa Gold account was brought to the bank by his ADC and orderly. Is the war on corruption sustainable? The president has already told U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry that corruption is viciously fighting back. Data feeds coming through in one place simultaneously on all our social media platforms. We got them channelstv.com, youtube.com, forward slash channels web. You can follow us right now on m.channelstv.com. We got all our platforms on social media covered. We're right now live on Facebook to receive an instant notification on our live shows like our page and you can interact on all our social media platforms be part of the show tweet at gimba umar ctv and use the hashtag state of the nation to air your thoughts on the subject four boko haram suicide bombers and two local vigilantes have been killed in blasts that occurred in three different locations in meduguri raising fears that the sect are regrouping in the northeast and carrying out attacks in what seems a resumed hostility against civilians and government forces what does this mean to the people of the Northeast? Do they feel secured today? Is the war on terror over or not? The Niger State Police Command on Thursday intensified its fight against cattle rustling in parts of the state with deployments of additional 500 policemen in areas identified as dangerous points. Cattle rustlers had relaunched what security agencies in the state referred to as major offensive. The story is the same in Kaduna where herdsmen allegedly attacked communities, killing 31. Can the government stop the lingering attacks by herdsmen and farmers? Is the Katu rearing culture of the people of the north a problem to the region and indeed the country as a whole? In the meantime, the Senate has summoned the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, to appear before its security committees to explain the reasons for the failure of the Nigerian police force to curb the incessant and mindless killings in the southern part of Kaduna state. Many say this must be contained now or the situation could degenerate. It's prime time in Lagos and this is State of the Nation. Welcome everyone in Nigeria and the rest of the world. I am Gimba Omar and this is State of the Nation. Right behind me, data feeds arriving in one place simultaneously on all our social media platforms. We are right now live on Facebook to receive an instant notification on our live shows. Just like our page and you can interact on all our social media platforms as well. Be part of the show. Tweet at Gimba Omar CTV and use the hashtag State of the Nation to air your thoughts. 31 persons were killed and several others injured in an attack by gunmen on four communities in Kora local government area of Kaduna State. The fresh attacks came just today after the launching of public apology billboard by the state governor Nasser El Rufai, signaling the return of peace and an end to the frequent conflicts between Fulani herdsmen and natives of southern part of the state. The House of Reps is displeased with the act and are set to meet with Mr. President to find a solution to the persistent problem. <music> Honorable Adam Jagaba joins me from our Buja studios to take a look at the Southern Kaduna violence. Many thanks indeed for coming on the show. You heard that report, as a matter of fact, you were, you were part of the uh, deliberations on the floor. What's your views to this heinous attack? 31 people killed in southern Kaduna. Thank you very much, uh, Gimba. First and foremost, I want to like, like to correct something. I'm uh, Jagaba Adams Jagaba. Yes. That's my full name. Uh, having said Thank that, um, I want the public to know 
that the number one duty of government, according to section 14, sub 2b, is that the security and welfare of the people shall be, shall be the primary purpose of government. Now, whatever I will say here today, this will generate the root from this constitutional provision. Now, let me give you a little background. First and foremost, this issue of Kauru local government in southern part of Kaduna came up on the 13th and 14th of this month. They were attacked in Kigam, Ungolimi, Ungomagaji, Ungomakeri, uh, Kitakum, and Gizipi. All these attacks, as of yesterday, even after the, this motion, as of this morning, 44, the total of 44 people have been killed because there was even an attack yesterday. Not less than 65 houses were burned down to ashes. We have scores of people in the hospital. Now, I want the public to know this too, that in Jamaa local government, the same attack has been so persistent. If you go to Fasankoli, Gidanwaya, Tudungwada Amere, Godogodo, Nindem, Kafanchang itself, several attacks. Honorable Jagaba, Honorable Jagaba, I understand your, your passion, but I must just come in here. I, I must come in here just to ask you, what's your greatest fears concerning these attacks in southern Kaduna? As you know, history has shown how volatile the southern part of the state is, remembering from the days of the Meitasine in 1983, I remember, and then the Zongong Kataf experience, which left many dead. What are your greatest concerns with these latest attacks by gunmen? My greatest concern is one, government. There's a failure of government from top to bottom. Because according to section 14 sub 2b, the primary purpose of government is to make sure its citizens are secure. Now, those of us from this part are not feeling secure. Government have abandoned that section of the country in fact, we've been annihilated. We have been dejected. We feel as if we are an annex or an addendum to this country. Nobody cares. And let me tell you what actually the key problem, one of the, one of the key problems too. The state, I mean the southern part of Kaduna is too far from the state capital. When something happens, it will take between two and a half to three hours to reach where the attack is being carried. Southern Kaduna part of the country, as of the last election, at least we are not less than 3.5 million. We are more than some states. So that's why we call on the government repeatedly. There must be a, an army formation. Because for, 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 for us to be free as people, for us to feel a kind of, sec I mean, sense, have a sense of uh, secureness, we need a, an army formation. Mm. And uh, let me tell you this too. There is no federal presence in the entire zone. There is more than many other states in Nigeria. Your, no your house, your, the House of Reps, uh, you're a member of that. As a matter of fact, you're the sponsor of that bill. Uh, you're expected to meet with Mr. President on this issue. What do you hope to come out of that meeting? What do you hope will come out of that meeting? Um, well... It's my sincere prayer and desire that the, gov the president will give a desired attention to the southern part of Kaduna, just like the way he did with uh, the cutter rustling of Zamfara, of Zamfara and part of Kaduna state. They, that he's going to join hand with the Kaduna state government and give a very serious attention. This is one of the things we've been saying. When there's an issue of cutter rustling, the federal government threw its weight to make sure it fight it. Well, in the southern part of Kaduna, many people have been killed. No attention has been given. So that kind of gives the impression that the love of a cow 
is far, far, far better than the life of a human being. So we expect that the federal government, particularly the president, will sit up and make sure that the fear we are expressing from Southern Kaduna is not true by acting fast to make sure we are safe. Now, um, many have argued that uh, whenever it comes to Southern Kaduna, it's always a conflict along religious lines, mostly Christians from where you are from. How has uh, uh, a recent bill in April by the governor, uh, a controversial religious bill, how has it affected the people of Southern Kaduna? Yeah, well, the, the bill in, I mean, there before Kaduna State as, as Assembly, um, has actually nothing to do with this, this issue we are talking about now. These are uh, Fulani Hatsman attack. The, our, the southern part of Kaduna is so green. The land is good for grazing. All their effort is to make sure our people leave their inherited land to give them away. So it has nothing to do with religion. There are house of people in southern Kaduna coexisting with our people. We don't have any problem with such people. We are okay with them. But the issue is this Hartman attack every day. He has no religious correlation in this matter. There's no uh, issue on this. Year. So, in so coming to matter. a close on this discussion, what would be your final words concerning this uh, attacks in southern Kaduna? My final word is that the governor of Kaduna State, the spirit he attached to the issue of cattle wrestling that has to do with part of Kaduna State and Zamfara and Katsina Boda, you should bring that spirit and attach it to Southern Kaduna State and invite the president, invite the army, invite the police to make sure this matter is gone. And secondly, the government should know, government of the day should know that the, its primary responsibility is for the security and welfare of the people. Because the constitution they, they shall be, that's what the constitution says, shall be. So let them know that that's a primary responsibility. Because today is Southern Kaduna, tomorrow it can spread on and on, and this country will be engulfed uh, in a Fulani Hartsman crisis. Many thanks indeed, Honorable Adams Jagaba from Kaduna South, talking to us from Abuja Studios.